Uh, ayo, ayo. Hollywood. Brand new money in the stash. I ain't going home till the sun come back. So just met a bad, bad. Telling me she wanna act up. I'm blowing on strong flex and tell her how my racks up. And when we leave the club, I keep it fire. I'm too long to go home. Hey, I'm too long to go home. Hey, I'm too long to go home. And we gon' keep it fire. I'm not really like music, so I wanna do it long time ago. So First time I really got engaged with some music, you know, Drew Hill was out, man. They had that song, Somebody Sleep in My Bed. I had it on the tape set. I mean, I went in there and wrote all the lyrics, and I don't know why I did it. All, the whole song got me. That was my thing. So back then, I knew that was something I wanted to do, write music and put it together. I do music because music is, is a expression, man, of life, man. I mean, it, it's so many different you know, feels from it, man. I, I do music, you feel me? I'm mad when I'm happy. I'm ready to go get turned up. I want somebody to feel how I'm feeling. You know, I go put in a music form and give it to the world. To describe my music, man, I just, uh, I got so many different variations and art forms to the music, man. I go into some pop, man. I go into some rock, rap, man. I twist it any which way I can. So to describe it is to say, like, just, I'm in all elements of it. I, I, I take it anywhere we need to go. Every time. And, uh, I'm into it all, man. Any, all kind of variations of art when I love it, when I draw, I shoot video. I'll be doing some filming for these guys and uh they are a little rock band. Come over here, let's, let's look at them over here. Videos, I shoot my own videos, I shoot other people's videos, I produce everything. I'm uh, in all aspects of multimedia. I'm, uh, every, um, Life experience, man. I don't just speak for myself, man. I speak for everybody, like everybody that I see, because I'm all there to me experience. Man. I'm giving people experiences in my music. So if you come on derogatory, that means the feel of what was told to me was derogatory. It was, you know, explicit. So while well, I'm a water it down, that's how it's given to me. I'm going to give it to you all access to To an extent, I mean, if I, if I wasn't to, if I was to portray, I would have to have been affiliated in some way for it to be realistic. You know, I wouldn't want to just be telling you experiences that I really can not feel come from. So, in a way, yes. But you know, I mean, my first influence, man, I'm gonna keep it on the G, man, Lil Wayne, man. You know, they say, they say I sound like Wayne a lot, but I, I, I throw that back to the days when, you know, when I first really got introduced to the rap music. I wasn't introduced to this when Run DMC and, and uh, uh, Niggas with the Attitude, NWA was all into this shit. I mean, I was all into this. I was influenced at the age where Hot Boys was popping. So, you know, I used to always go to the studio with my big cousin Don and my other folks, you feel me? And then I was the youngest. So I'm about you know, 12. I'm, I'm about 12 years old, going to these big studios and all the kind of things. You know, they rapping, so it's making me want to introduce them. Like I said, the Hot Boys came out. You see, Lil Wayne was number 14. So I'm Mac Dre. And I love Mac Dre because, like I said, I came from a background where, you know, I was into the streets and doing kind of stuff. You know, you got a cat that's from where we're from. And really, you know, he's showing us how to party, but he giving us, he giving us the experience of, you know, what's really going on too. You know, and I fell into that lifestyle. Uh, I would like to work with anybody, man, with work, man, with drive, man. You know, I'm not, I'm not running from work, man. You know, somebody you gotta be talented, you gotta be hungry, you gotta want it like I want it. I'm affiliated with so much in this Bay Area right now. I've met super producer Reese Beast, my cousin Squirrel D, who I work for I Am Sue, HBK, G Easy, uh, Keep the Sneak. If you want to go to Bay, I can touch a little bit of everybody in the Bay, man. You know, writing songs, I can song with E40. Uh, who else, man? Just plenty of people, bro. Uh, I'm an opportunist. So, with me being an opportunist, I'm gonna go for whatever look good and is good for us. Man, I got my own label. I started my own label with everything myself, brand new money entertainment. You know what I mean? I got my own artists. I, I got my own beats and all that kind of stuff. So for a label, you know what I mean? If they want to work with me and not work on me. So that's what I'm looking for. If you come to like, work with another label or do a label or something like that. Oh man, that's a wonderful feeling, man. That's a weird feeling. You, this one, is, you know, the, you see where the champions is made. Man. Oh, I'm being real. This is when you see a champion making, you get to see if people really feeling your songs or not, or feeling your music, man. So it's like, nigga, it's, it's scary, man. You know what I mean? You go on that stage, man, you got a microphone in your hand, and man. Sometimes you may just be bouncing around, but it's like, 
you know, you can see the people bouncing with you. You know, you don't have the people near you, but you can see everything when you're on top. You know, then you see who's moving, who's shaking, who got their arms fucked. So that's it's mind blowing every world is next. It starts right here. It starts with today, and it don't end with tomorrow. So, I'm going to just, I'm going to trying to get these things in the tip man. I've really been grinding in this for a long time. And it really starts taking it serious. Like, you know, the more experience that I've been going through lately, I've been taking it real serious. So, I feel like if I don't give it all right now, it's not going to happen. So, next to the top. Uh, Take care of my young life. Take care of my young life, man. Put an imprint, a stamp. You know, I'm not doing it just, you know, what I mean? just to say I did it. I'm doing it because I want to be a part of it. You know, I want to be memorable. I want to be somebody that people can go to and be like, man, that guy was not like this shit was like. So somewhere in the Hall of Fame, somewhere. Money gonna come from Carlos if I start rapping today. I'm gonna find a way to work. Pushing to be that, you know, an icon, somebody on the back screen, your iPod. Uh, recently got a uh, shot in the face, man. You know, it was just a real freak accident, man. You know, I don't know what really happened, man. It was like I was in the middle of this crossfire, I somewhere just going to get something to eat, man. And then, boom, a shot in the black, man. Went through my, uh, through my temple right here. And on my eyebrow. And I, mean, I, and I survived. A lot of people don't survive. I just lost some, lost some family. Man. He was really into this music thing, but you know, and they died, man. Everybody that gets shot don't survive. Most of the time, you see a nigga give up on your shot. Next to the time, you see your people, they in a tuxedo somewhere in the block. Yeah, like um, my RP to my little brother Sergey, man. A lot of people don't make it from out of that. You know, I was blessed to make it. I mean, I feel like with the second win, it was meant for me to be here for real. Nah, I mean, I'm, I'm giving it all I got. Yeah, I'm staying out the way from the weirdness. It's a, you know, the spirit of this music. Yeah. Anything else? Nah, we good. We can't. Part of that. Hold up. No, I'm part of that.